us um, through a Fortune, five, Fortune 1000 company I just worked with, a, a Cisco integration, uh, a Teams integration with the Cisco environment that they previously already had. So there's a few points that I do want to make here um, just to kind of bring the whole story together for kind of what happened and, and where we're at with it. Um, the first one is, is the migration itself. We know this isn't an easy point for anybody, um, especially a big company. So we, we uh, do a few things inside the audio codes portfolio to make this easy. Um, the first one is we know uh, we have a Teams environment they're looking to go to and they've had a Cisco legacy environment on site. What the, what the major piece of this puzzle is going to be at this point is going to be the SBC. Uh, one thing that we do do is have an Active Directory LDAP integration between um, the, the Teams environment and the SBC and Cisco environment. So what's going to happen there is when we, a call comes into the SBC, we're going to do an LDAP query into, uh, into the um, Active Directory itself to, to, to be able to see if that call is going to be going to Teams or it's going to be going to Cisco itself. We can make that intelligent decision for you with two routing rules, which is what it comes down to. Um, the th next part I want to talk to um, is the upstream model. With the upstream model itself, we're letting the SBC terminate the PSTN connection. At this point, it's a, a SIP trunk coming into the customer environment, coming into the SBC. Um, there's a few different possible scenarios that you can do this with, but we know this customer at the end of the day wants to get rid of the Cisco environment, so why not just put the SBC there um, because they are going to still leverage their local PSTN connectivity for years to come. All right, so that's why we're going to call this one the upstream model. Next piece is uh, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the SBC part and what Audio Codes has the offer. Um, there's a few different ways that we can come out with our SBCs. And the first way is a hardware model that's been around forever, and those are boxes that we've sold forever. Um, they're still available. They're still they still as solid as rocks, and, and they still run great, um, as well as all of our other SBCs. Um, but we also have now a virtual offering, uh, VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, that we can use also in a customer's environment. So it might make the customer a little bit easier to be able to use uh, leverage their virtual environment inside the company network itself. And third, and not uh, third, but surely not last, is the uh, newest offering coming out: um, Azure-based and Amazon Web Services SBC. What that's going to leverage is the cloud scenario, which you know is a popular word these days, and a lot of people seem to be going that way also. So we have you covered in that scenario. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, especially for a decent sized company, is our high availability option with the SBCs. It's something you really want to consider. Um, downtime, especially uh, in uh, any company, is not a good thing. So one thing you want to definitely look at is your high availability with the SBCs. So you lose one of the SBCs, the secondary one takes over without a customer losing a call that you're on at that point. This is basically the easiest way to put it. All right. Um, I have my little checklist going here. Um, the dial plans, this is another thing that we do make easy. Um, there could be different endpoints on a um, network that we can connect with an SPC. Obviously, it's going to be an IP to IP connection. The nice part about this is we talked about before is audio codes with two routing rules will intelligently make this decision to go from uh, Microsoft Teams or to a Cisco environment. So um, we try to make it as easy as possible, um, and I think we uh, accomplish that. And then last but not least, one of the big ones is the management. We know that IT, IT and telecom teams are getting smaller these days, um, so we have a whole suite of managed uh, management tools um, with uh, configuration tools, um, call quality tools, uh, routing tools that we can talk about um, to help manage your SBCs and manage all your audio codes um, equipment that you have on a network itself. Um, feel free to reach out to any one of your audio codes representatives and go more in depth with this. Um, any questions, uh, feel free to contact audio codes and, and have a great day. Thank you.